What's going on guys, Victor here, and today I'm joined by Brooke and Matt. Matt is from Boathouse Marine Service Center, a uh, local marina we have here, and they were kind enough to let us use a brand new 2018 Pro Line for the day. We're gonna show you guys a little bit of South Florida living, good boating. We got a beautiful, sunny South Florida day, and if you guys are interested in purchasing a boat or in Pro Line, stick around towards the end of the video, and Matt's gonna walk us through this boat. See you guys. So we got this skirt right here and some 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. And as this is being dragged through the water, that skirt is helping this strip from getting washed out. So I go ahead and I line up the eye of my hook with the end of my strip. I'm gonna see where it's gonna come out of, put it in. And these are brined and salted heavily strips to remove any moisture. And it makes them really leather-like. They're very, very hardy. And this is a really, really effective way to fish. Everything eats a Bonita strip on a planer. Wahoo, kings, dolphins, sailfish. Ever seen the boat? those boats trolling out here, all the charter boats? 99.9% .9 of the time, they are trolling planers. Now we let this out. Matt on with the first fish of the day. A little kingfish, a little slinger on the Bonita strip, black and white sea, black and pink sea witch. No, purple, it's purple and purple. So guys, that was the first fish of the day. Matt got a king on the planer rod. A little six, eight pound king and Perfect little eating size guy. Uh, we're getting lines back out and hopefully we get some more. Ooh, we are hooked up again on the planner. All right guys, fish number two, Brooke is hooked up. All right, Brooke's getting it in, hand lining that planer rod in, and a little snake king. So when these guys hit the planer, they hit it hard and they're usually glued on there. When you hook a fish on the planer, you see him skipping on top like that. They usually don't come unhooked. They have to be 24 inches to the fork, and this is 23 and a half, so I'm gonna let them go. Brooke is hooked up, guys. Matt just lost one on the planer as well. We had two on at once, and uh, it just came off, so Brooke's gonna hand line it now. How big is it, Brooke? This one is 23 to the fork, so we gotta let this guy go too. Guys, I was starting to get worried there. We were not getting hit for a very long time, but we were making a turn and sometimes that's what happens. You make that turn and you get that bait presented the right way and the planer popped. Got them all. What I love about fishing with different people and new people like Matt over here is he taught me a new way to rig up the planer where it's in line and when your planer gets all the way up to the tip of your rod, he has a way to take the planer off and you can actually reel the fish all the way up to the tip of your rod. You always learn something new on the water. This is what I mean about the, uh, the planer. they're getting a little bit bigger the most feisty ones so far on the planers all right guys so we're switching up what we're doing we're done planer fishing we put some meat in the boat we're about to set up our drift but i wanted to tell you guys a little bit about matt and boathouse marine because i get asked a lot of questions about boats all the time a lot of our subscribers are local to south florida the pompano beach fort lauderdale area so i'm gonna let matt take over for a little bit and tell you guys what Boathouse Marine Center offers. Hey guys, I'm the service manager at Boathouse Marine Center located in Pompano. We're a full service marine facility. We offer sales, storage, and service. Um, we are the authorized dealer for Proline boats and G3 boats, as well as Mercury, Yamaha, and Suzuki outboards. 
Uh, we can do custom rigging, outfitting the boat for fishing or for cruising. Today we're here on a 26 Pro Line Super Sport Center console with the Twin 200 Verados. Uh, great fishing package all around and it's a fishing machine. We've got the gogs in the live well, kingfish in the fish box, bonita, yeah. and uh, we're out here just making it happen. So let's get these baits out. Guys, we got Mr. Goggle Eye about to send him out and now we're drifting. So we're gonna put out two gogs on the flat lines. We got some wind now, and I don't really like to drift when there's no wind because you don't cover a lot of water, but the wind picked up, starting to feel fishier. So just like when we slow troll right through the nose there, and you want your wire to be in line. You don't want your wire to you know, really have a big bulge in it. You try to see where your hook's gonna come out of, and that's where you base, where you're gonna stick your hook point in, come out the skin, and then see how it's nice and stream -like, streamlined like that? The wire's nice and snug against his body. And here we go. I'm gonna send him out on his way. Yeah, he's getting whacked on top. Is he? Yeah, he's jumping. Oh yeah, oh, 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 right there. That's gotta be a king or something. Yeah, he's on, mm, yeah. Yeah, we're on, on the titanium. Get that bite on camera? Yeah. Looked like a little snake king came up top and ate it, didn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Sweet. That little thing swallowed that whole gog. And look at how he's hooked. He's not even hooked in the mouth. He's got <laughs> one hook in the butt. Got him in the anal pin. Oh, wow. And I always like to freeze some bally and bring him offshore because you never know what you can catch on him. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on a flat line on a spinner and see if we can get a sail to come up to it or a dolphin. And what I like to do is I kind of like to work the bally almost like a lure. You know, you let him drift out there and you kind of slowly snake him in. So we hook one right there and we put our other trailer back here. Come back here because you're over this line. I knew that technique worked. That's that pier special. That's what we used to do on the pier. We used to, we used to, it's called snobbling Valley. This might be a decent fish. Oh yeah, babe. And I was kind of working it almost like a lure. I would let it drift back and I would kind of give it a twitch twitch. And I think anything from underneath or sideways sees that flashing of that dead ballyhoo and they think it's, I don't know, they might think it's a lie, but it definitely entices a bite. Oh yeah. Gaff worthy. Gaff worthy there. Yeah. That was a great gaff shot. See, that gets me excited. Good work, Matt. <laughs> there you go. And you guys couldn't have got a better gaff shot than right there in the head. Choked the ballyhoo. There's a lot of kings out today. There is. Mm -hmm. They're not that big, but there's a lot around and they're, they're not, spunky. They're not turned on though. We're not getting them on the jigs like we want to. No. Get him, babe. Get him, babe. Get him, babe. You're on, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. We woke up. So I just caught one. Now Brooke's on. This was on a live gog. What do we got? Yeah. Whether it's been the planer or the live baits, we're getting tight all day long. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so Brooke is hooked up now on the, the green rod, on the Conley rod, and that was on a live gog. As I was unhooking my king from the ballyhoo, she just got hooked up. It doesn't feel like it's doing He's definitely butt hooked. Look at how you're bringing him up. Yeah! Yes. Another perfect gap shot! Good that job, one. man. Nice! Good job, you too. Woohoo! Teamwork, everyone. So one thing me and Matt were just talking about is the fact that this boat has so much room for a fish box. It's that right here. One thing I like about it is that you have two big fish boxes in the back and we got six kings in there and it is nowhere near full. What you got on? I have on a sailfish. He just jumped like crazy. He just jumped like 10 times when he first got hooked and now he's just running. He's not stopping. He is, has not stopped yet. And now we're gonna try to chase after him to get closer. Oh yeah, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes! Come on, jump! Oh, 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 he wants to jump, he wants to jump! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, baby. 
All right, I got him. Oh man, that's sick. Beautiful fish, look at that. We got a sail all lit up on the pro line today. So I told you guys we're gonna have a great day of South Florida boating and one of the things that we get to enjoy and that's cool about center consoles like this is diving is just easy and accessible. So Brooke and I, we just had a whole day of fishing. The fish box is full of kingfish, which we're gonna cook up for dinner. And uh, we're about to jump in the water and try to get us some bugs, some lobster to add to our dinner. And I think it's gonna be freezing. Very cold. It's gonna be freezing, but well worth it if we get them. So we'll see you guys underwater. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and we had an absolute blast today. We had a good time, beautiful sunny South Florida. We got to dive. We didn't get any legal lobster, but we still had fun. Um, we got a mess of kingfish. We got six keeper kings right here and we're gonna eat up all these, uh, give some out to friends. And these are all perfect size little eating kingfish. And uh, we got that one sale, which was really neat as well. If you guys are interested in pro lines or just boats or just wanna see the different features of boats, stay tuned because Matt right here is about to tell you guys everything there is to know about a sweet little center console right here, which is a pro line. All right, so starting from the front, we have the windlass, pop-up bow cleats, bow lights are recessed, forward seating and bunny pad with storage underneath. Big storage lockers, one on each side. Foldable backrests for lounging, which also double as co-main holsters if you're fighting a fish. Cooler in front of the console. Storage in the front, lots of storage. Got the walk-in head with the potty inside. Tilt steering, tilt helm. Mercury control box. Mercury gauges, fish boxes on port and starboard side, very spacious, plenty of storage. They can double as storage lockers. Got the live well with the see-through lid. It's also got a light, so you can see at night. Tackle box, your battery switches. Dive ladder, Mercury Vibrato 200 four stroke, supercharged. Got an aft seat. Uh, fold down so if you want to fish right up against the bolster comfortable uh, the wash down raw water wash down hose we've also got a fresh water wash down right here 